Today I want to show you something kind of important and it's the system windows forms. Now the reason I think this is important is because it gives you a notification method. So if we just add the assembly and then take the system windows forms notification icon, we can feed that with the path of the process to just take the process icon. Now if I just go ahead and run this, you'll, you'll see something that probably looks quite familiar to you, which is the windows notification which allows you to send these different types of notification to the desktop. So you can see down here in the, the bottom right, we have a, a notification based on the script that just ran. Now, these are particularly useful in my opinion, and I'm going to double back to that in a second because I want to show you a, a simple example of how this might be of use. Um, we'll also have a look at what other types of notification there are. So we've got warnings, we've got info, and we've got errors. So if we want to show the error, example for a moment you can see we get a nice big red X here so there are ways to basically drag your attention and a lot of these can be done in relation to scripts so let's say as an example you've got a test here so I, I want to test if the web connection is available and if the web connection is not available I'm gonna put a big notification directly onto my desktop and the reason I think that's kind of important is because a lot of notification systems do this by mail and frankly if you're running in full screen or you you distracted by other programs it doesn't really notice you know the mail pop-ups barely pay any attention and you might get to it a little bit later quite often much later and the difference here is with the forms notifications because it pops up in the bottom corner and it's an overlay it's always on top for those few seconds. It drags your attention. And the fact that this can be done with a script with something as simple as whether or not something is working in the background. So if you've got a poll, let's say, that is checking to see if something's working every 10 minutes, you're gonna get an overlay every 10 minutes. So it will get your attention at some point, probably faster than the mail. So here's a, a version two where we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna not just run a test fail, but we're gonna run a test success. So we've got two different versions of the message here. One telling us that everything's running fine and the other one telling us it's not. And here we're going for the, the test running fine. So here we got a response telling us, hey, Google is up, or in this case, Yahoo is up. I used Yahoo because frankly, well, Google is very rarely down, <laughs> but um, it's a good example of being able to check, is my internet connection running normally? And using Windows Forms is a great way of being able to have some level of automation. Now, if you hook this in with other scripts, so something simple like you send your information to uh, a centralized form, something that would be like InfluxDB, you can then run a query against InfluxDB, and if the query response matches the criteria, you can then have a pop-up. So you can actually use Windows Forms to notify you of when you need to go look at a dashboard rather than needing the dashboard open all of the time.